Hello, doers. It's Stealthy Wood. We're looking for ways to speed up our order fulfillment process without creating extra chaos. Odu has several picking methods. Single picking, which is the default, is one picker per order. This is what we used to use and is inefficient for a warehouse as big as ours. So batch picking is when one picker selects products for multiple orders at once, then sorts them at a designated location. Wave and cluster picking are other methods that you can explore inside of Odu each with its own strategies for shortening the time our pickers take to grab items and get them ready for customers. Check out our other videos in the description for those. So with batch picking, you spend less time walking back and forth in the warehouse, you gather all the items needed for several orders in a single run, and then sort them once that you're done. And a quick note, you've heard of batch picking and batch transfers. Which one is it? Inside of Odoo, a batch transfer is when we group multiple transfers together. This can be for a picking, internal transfer, and a delivery, which is moving a product inside the warehouse to outside. Batch picking is a picking method, and only refers to the act of taking items off shelves for an order, to then bring them to an output location where the products are sorted. So, when you hear batch picking, that's the process of picking items for multiple orders at once, but behind the scenes, it's done through these batch transfer records. Now enough chit chat, let's dive into our Odoo database. So first let's make sure that batch transfers are enabled. So we're actually gonna go up to configuration up at the very top and you guessed it, we're gonna select settings as we've done a thousand times before. So under the operation section, make sure batch wave and cluster transfers checkbox is enabled. So perfect. Let's actually scroll down because I need to make my way over to shipping over here. So I happen to have delivery methods enabled and under shipping connectors over here, I have UPS and FedEx as well. Make sure any shipping connectors for your carriers are activated as well. So we're actually going to need these soon to sort orders by carriers. So stay tuned. So next scroll down and we're going to confirm something else. Where are we at? We're looking at. So here we go. Okay, so we'll also want to make sure that we have storage locations as well as multi-step routes located over here under our warehouse section, both selected as well. So that allows us to specify exactly where our products are stored and how they move through the actual warehouse. If you're changing these for the first time, don't forget to go up to the very top left and hit save. It'll save you time. So next, let's click configuration once again, and this time we're gonna select warehouses. We're gonna select our Stealthy Wood Warehouse. Beautiful. So in the outgoing shipments field, we have it set to two steps right there. In Odoo, batch transfers work with one, two, and three step delivery flows. So since batch picking involves one team picking and bringing the products to a sorting location, the second step is where products get sorted into each order and delivered. However, a single step delivery can still use batch transfers. It means you'll be sorting in real life, but the Odoo sorting step well, that's not going to get recorded inside of Odoo. So for more on these steps and how many steps you should use, check out our basic warehouse setup tutorial that I have. All right, so now up next, let's make sure, and I need to show you actually how Odoo does some heavy lifting and automatically groups our orders into batches. So we set this on an operation type. So in our warehouse, we have someone strategically, in other words, manually, strategically assign orders for our pickers. But when we sort, we want to quickly group the orders. So to do that, we configure automatic batches by going up to configuration. And this time we're gonna make our way over to operation types. So perfect. You're gonna to wanna to select delivery orders. So in the batch wave and transfers one that we have down here at the very bottom, we're gonna tick the automatic batches box right there. So these days, We've been fulfilling a ton of orders from about the same clients. So we want to make sure that we actually have carrier ticked over here on the right. And then you'll see later, but setting automatic batches creates batches of delivery orders based on the same carrier. So now let's see how we assign or create picking tasks in our warehouse for our warehouse workers. So we're going to go back over to our inventory dashboard after we manually save by selecting overview up at the very top. Okay, so in the pick card, we actually happen to have five orders. I'm gonna click our little dots that we have over here in the top right, and we're gonna select prepare batch. Ooh, look at that. So a little bit about our warehouse. 
Our shelves are very tall since we're a large warehouse. Shelves labeled G are at eye level. Shelves labeled L, well, they're higher, requiring a ladder. I can assign items from L shelves to Nathan. He's basically a pro climber. A little shout out to you, Nathan. And G shelves to Jose. He has bad knees, so we keep it easy for him. <laughs> All right. So right now to add pickings to the batch, I'm going to click add a line at the very bottom over here. All right, so in the window expand right now, we're gonna expand our nice little reference just so that you can see where we're picking from. Okay, we're gonna tick all of the boxes that we want right here. And then once that we're done, we just said, well, I could have selected in the top left, we hit select. Okay, so I can't see the exact storage locations yet. So I'm gonna confirm on the draft batch just for right now. So, Right now we're gonna go and confirm this. And then right now in our detailed operations tab, I can differentiate the locations by whether it's on the ground or needs a ladder to reach. Oh, well, would you actually look at that? By some odd coincidence, all these items happen to be located on the L shelf. You can see that in our from area. If there were any items located at G, I'd simply click on the trash icon that we happen to have and we'd make another batch for Jose later. So next, I'm gonna set the responsible to Nathan because we talked about this. And then we just hit save. And the batch happens to be assigned. So next, let's get ready to pick the items using the barcode app. So to do that, I need the barcodes. So I'm actually going to click the gear icon up in the top over here, select batch transfer. And the barcodes and sheets would look something like this. The first page contains barcodes of the batch and the pickings. And the second page has all the product barcodes, which we're gonna need later. Now let's get picking. All right, so as the picker, I'm actually going to open up the barcode application. Now with my trusty scanner, which happens to be in hand, I'm going to tap on operations over here. If I wanted to, I could also scan the picking barcode. But once inside of here, we're gonna select pick. Okay, perfect, so here we are. So at the very top, we actually wanna select our batches tab and then select it again. Perfect. So above every product, if you could tell, it actually shows the location for it. So this one says shelf one slash L. So let's walk there right now and pretend with me. We're gonna scan our location barcode just so that we know. And would you look at that? All right, then we wanna scan the first product, which happens to be the cable management box. Once that we get that one right there, would you look at that? Oh, and since I need five of those, I'm gonna scan it four more times. Or if you wanted to, you can also just, trying to make sure I do the math right right there. You could have also just clicked the plus one. And once that we're done, we're gonna climb down that ladder and put the items in our cart and move on to the next item. And now, you know what we'll do for all of the rest of these items, which is the exact same thing. So I'm gonna skip ahead by tapping on our plus one, and we're gonna move forward with pretty much all of these as we go along, just to make sure. All right, there we go. We're getting everything done. And the very last item is a sofa. So I'm not sure how I'm getting that down the ladder, but thankfully I don't have to demo moving furniture to you, oh doers. So we're just gonna hit plus one, wink. All right, finally, it's time to drop them off in our output location. So if you have two or three step flow, the output location is where the sorting team finalizes everything, but the main picking task is done. So in our case, we're gonna hit validate and we're done. Okay, now let's pretend that I'm a different user in charge of packing and sorting. I'm gonna open up our inventory application over here. And because we set automatic batches to group by carrier, the delivery orders card shows, would you look at that? We have two batches. Let's click into that right there. So in the description column over here, we're gonna see one for UPS and another for FedEx. So we're gonna open up our FedEx batch over here. And then we're gonna go to our detailed operations tab. And here, indicated by three different transfer numbers, all of them actually happen to be grouped by the actual carrier. Now. I'm just gonna make sure that each order has the right items and quantities. Okay, okay. And then once that we're set, we're gonna select validate in the top left corner. 
and someone will take these packages to the FedEx drop-off center, who will then send it straight to our customers. And that's it. Our orders are picked, sorted, and ready to ship. And there you have it. Our orders are picked, sorted, and ready to ship, like I just said. And we talked through and walked through how to set up batches and use the barcode app to pick multiple orders in a single run. This workflow can save your team serious time and footsteps on the warehouse floor. If you want to explore other picking methods, like perhaps wave or cluster picking, or if you need more advanced grouping rules, be sure to check out our other videos on the official Odoo YouTube and the documentation site. We also have a tutorial about dispatch management. That's if you have specific loading docs and you need to coordinate with drivers to deliver packages directly to multiple drop-off points. Thank you for watching, Odooers. I'll see you in the next one.